Hello, friends. Welcome back. So, in my last video, I was discussing um, how I had been planning and working on getting an emergency food storage set up. How, um, now that we decided that we were going to stay in a house, that I wanted to get on that in case cold and flu season is coming up. Who knows what's going to happen? I, I just... I don't want to really get into it, but I mean, we all know what's going on. We all know the craziness that's happening. Um, if February happens to repeat itself, I would like to not be caught with my pants down again, so to speak, and just be prepared, not overly prepared, but just prepared enough to where, you know, we could go and get like normal groceries and just keep this replenished. And comfortable and really only have to worry about um fruits and vegetables and meat pretty much um because I'm not going to keep a three month supply of meat um that's just crazy I I have a big freezer but I don't I mean I don't know I have other stuff in there so with that being said, baby Caleb and I went on an adventure today. And if you follow me on Instagram, which if you don't, my handle, I'll put it down here. It's from His Bountiful Blessings. Uh, I left the kids at home with their dad and they all worked on their schoolwork. And, um, and then they did some cleaning to help get the house ready for the showing so that I could come in and do my part, which is basically um, they get all the clutter picked up. I come in and I dust and I clean uh, glass surfaces, I vacuum, and then I do like deep clean in the kitchen and the bathrooms. And so they pretty much do everything else. So they did that while I was gone um, and then played video games <laughs> and maybe even played outside for a little bit because it was nice out today. So baby Caleb and I left earlier today and we went to two stores. Um, and there is a few things that aren't in here yet because I'm scheduling them for a while. I scheduled them for a Walmart pickup, which is peanut butter. Um, I, we prefer peanut butter with honey in it. And so um, our favorite kind is at Walmart and it comes in like a big, I think it's maybe a 64 ounce jar, maybe 55. I don't know. But I ordered um, that to put in here. And then I also um, got dry beans and few other things I can't remember but it was like $40 and I will pick that up on the way home from church and so that will complete the haul here so baby Caleb and I went we drove an hour to um, Costco and Aldi um yes I have a Costco about 25 minutes away but there's also a I said that wrong Yes, I drove an hour for Aldi when there is one 35 minutes away, but the Aldi is right around the corner from Costco. So I just did that. We did go to Aldi first, which I'm glad we did because I mainly got flats of everything. Um, if I got it, I got a case of it and that made it easier for me to have all that at the bottom of the trunk of the van and then to put everything from Costco in there. Um, and I went with a spreadsheet that I had made and I did end up adjusting some of my totals because once I got in person, um, I decided that the quantities were too much, um, for a three month. Um, my husband was very specific. Words are hard. My husband was very specific that he did not want me to go overboard and have too much. Three months was where he wanted to be at. Um, he didn't want it to be obnoxious. So with that being said, I'm going to flip around. I am in my basement because what we did is we brought it all downstairs to put it on the shelves because honestly, it's just too much to put on my kitchen table and in my kitchen and then to carry it downstairs. I just decided to show it to you down here. So Okay, so here we go. First of all, I am sorry for my messy basement. It's just the way it is. Before I get into all this food stuff, I do want to talk about the household things that I did buy today. I did decide to get two boxes of Kirkland diapers um, just because with the way things are going, um, I would rather have more than not. So these diapers down here... Um, 
there's one box of size fives and two boxes of size fours. Those will likely end up being for the new baby. Um, my mom gets like diaper deals a lot. And um, if she buys an overabundance, we just put it aside. I did have this one box that she got me um, that I'll use first before I break into these Kirkland. And then basically what I'll do is, is I will just buy a box of Kirkland diapers once a month and just keep replenishing. And I think I might even start buying diapers for the baby. So my last Costco haul, I told you that I got the toilet paper and the paper towels. Basically, I was running low on paper towels. Um, I go through probably one of these a week um, because I clean with them and everything like that. Sorry for the shadow. Once again, terrible lighting basement. Um, so once I get down to about half of a pack, I like to have another one. Um, and then once I open a pack of toilet paper, a family size toilet paper, I like to go ahead and have a backup on hand. So we had opened this Kirkland one and I grabbed this because they had no Kirkland. Um, this says that it's septic safe. It seems like it's the same. Um, it's two ply. So it seems like it's going to work just as good as the Kirkland. And yeah, so I have like some baby wipes that I did not get now. Um, my mom had found a really good deal on the Gain Fling. So I'm set up for a while on laundry soap. Um, and then I did get the cinnamon. I got a case of cinnamon applesauce today um, for my kids to snack on. And then I did get a case of the yogurt bites. Um, these are Caleb's like favorite snacks. So there's like six of each and really honestly, Aldi has them the cheapest. So, and I did also get a thing of kitty litter. Um, and this is a shelf that Braxton had bought me. I have one over here. I'm not going to share it because it is full of clean laundry. And then also it has a couple of baskets of dirty laundry in front of it. So what it does is the way he designed it is that I can put baskets in here. I can fit four across and that way each person has a basket. Towels have a basket, that kind of thing. He had enough wood to make me two and I'm glad he did because then I wound up using it for this. So now I will get into the food selection. So I had mentioned in my last video that I was going in with a budget, that I was basically using my monthly grocery budget to get this set up and that we were going to be pantry cooking um, for the remainder of the time. So in my deep freezer, I have like butter and I have some bread and I have down here is where I always keep my meat. I have some meat over here too but we are going to cook from all of this this month like we've got blueberries and strawberries to make smoothies and we just have various things in here um that we can cook off of this month on top of what i already have upstairs in my pantry and that's what we're going to do this month so um i'll start at the bottom actually um and like i said this is supposed to be a three month food storage um some of it might be a little bit more, especially if it's like on a flat, but I wanted it to be uniform and I wanted to be able to keep these cardboard things to keep things organized and everything like that. So to start down here at the bottom, I got back here, I got five of these six pounds of pure cane sugar. I prefer to use this over um, regular white granulated sugar. It's cup for cup. It's the same thing. Um, I just prefer it. Um, so I got five of those and most of the stuff down here is not going to stay like this. It's actually going to get a food safe bucket. Um, like this, this all purpose flour is going to get a food safe bucket and my 40 pounds, I got two 20 pound bags of basmati rice that's going to go into a food safe bucket. And those are, this is going to move and then we're going to have food safe buckets over here. Um, and that's where that's going to be. The sugar in the raw, I got two bags of that um, because this is the kind of sugar that Braxton likes to use in his coffee. Um, I had planned on getting four of each of these and then getting a food safe bucket and putting them in their hole just in case we get a mouse or anything like that. It would be protected they had a limit of one of each and they had changed that since the last time I've been to Costco. If I had knew that I would have went ahead and stocked up at Aldi when I was there, but I didn't want to go back. I was tired and exhausted and Caleb was ready for a nap. 
So I went ahead and got a case of ketchup. This is probably a little overboard for three months. This is probably more like six months. Um, don't get me wrong. My kids love ketchup. I use ketchup to make French dressing, homemade French dr honey French dressing. Um, this will get used up no problem. I mean, and it was like eight bucks for the case. So I went ahead and got that. And um, we were actually running low on ketchup. And I had thought about that while we were at Aldi. <laughs> And I went ahead and grabbed that. So I got a case of the traditional pasta sauce. I was really, when I picked this, when I was getting ready to pick this up, I was like, man, this is going to be so heavy. It's glass. And then I realized that they were plastic. They changed them since the last time I bought it. Usually I buy ragu, um, but this was 85 cents a jar. So like I said, I was doing this on a budget. And what I can do is, is I can get like things that I'm more brand loyal to maybe in the further future. Um, but for now to set this up, I was okay with this. I've had this. It's fine. Um, and there's 12 of these in there. And so then I got a case of tomato paste, which there is, um, 24 cans in here. Um, and these are good until 2023. So basically what will happen with all of this stuff is, is if I need a jar of sauce, I will pull it from the front and then I will mark down that I used one and I will buy one and then I will put it in the back. And that's how this is going to continue to get rotated. So got a 24 thing of tomato paste. I did get four jars of salsa. Um, we really, really like the Aldi salsa. And so then I got four of each better than bouillons. The Costco size ones are the best size and price. Um, they just are. So I got four vegetable, four chicken, and four beef. Um, I use these all the time instead of buying cartons of... Um, chicken broth and I love to save I love to take the labels off and save these containers and put like spices in them or just use them for various things sourdough starters anything like that these are super great containers I love to keep them so then over here I got um four boxes of spaghetti and two boxes of angel hair um we don't eat a ton of pasta so this may be a little heavy for us for three months this may actually be a six month rotation um but pasta stays so good that if we were really to get in a situation where we were in an emergency and maybe we couldn't get meat or anything we would have something that could stick to our ribs and we could do tons of things with it. So I got five boxes of the penne regate. Um, I meant to get six, but somehow I only grabbed five and I did grab six elbow macaronis. Now, um, I will use like elbow macaroni for like stroganoff, chili mac, all sorts of things. I mean, these are pretty much the three types of pastas that we use. I got the two angel hairs just for kind of a variety, so to speak. So then I went and got a, I got a two pack of the um, Kirkland olive oil. Um, this is a great deal. This is cheaper than Sam's Club. Um, so got one of that. I was going to get two, I'm sorry for the shadows. I was going to get two of these minced garlics, but once I looked at the size and I remember I've had one of these in my fridge for probably two months and I still have a ways to go. So I decided to just go ahead and get one. And then when I open this one, I'll get another one to have on the shelf. I did get a pack of um, albacore tuna. My husband only likes to eat tuna if it's albacore. Um, he does not like the regular like chunk light. Um, so I got this. We have some already upstairs, but tuna is one of those great things to have on hand. So then I also got a case of um, like the Aldi Rotel, um, great for taco soup, um, tacos, all sorts of things you can do with this. I got a case of crushed tomatoes. Once again, so many recipes can be made, soups, all sorts of things can be made with canned tomatoes. I got two cases of diced tomatoes. Um, I will use the diced tomatoes to make tomato soup. I will make taco soup. I will make all sorts of things with diced tomatoes. Okay, sorry. Had to take a break. Uh, kids needed me. Now to remember where I started. Okay, 
So then back here, I have two of the big boxes of Famous Dave's Cornbread Mix. It has four of the regular small boxes that you can get at Walmart inside. Um, we love to have these just like as a side dish, or we also, I like to make them and put hot dogs inside of them, like to make corn dogs for the kids. Uh, I did get this because I had fine ground pepper and I just really don't like it. So I bought this. So I got, um, six cans of pinto beans and six cans of black beans. Um, like I said, I am buying some dry beans, but these are always good for a day where you forget to cook beans or, you know, you just want to put them in a soup real quick or whatever. It's just nice to have those on hand. And I did get a whole slab of pork and beans. Um, my kids, this is like one of their guilty pleasures that they like to eat, but also there's a recipe that Kent Rollins does, um, that uses pork and beans as its base that we really, really, really like. So yeah, no shame in the pork and bean game. We love them with weenies. Um, I did get, let me go this way. I got all sorts of like seasonings. Oh, this lighting. I should have brought my light down here. Um, this looked interesting, so I decided to try that. I got some parsley and some taco seasoning um, to stock up. I did get a thing of balsamic glaze. My husband loves to put this on salads. Um, and then also like if you make like bacon wrap dates, that's super good on there too. And I did, oh my goodness, this is too tall. I did get two things of honey, um, just like for tea or for baking or what not. And then I did get four bottles of Cholua. Uh, Emmeline and Braxton and I love this on like eggs, tacos, oops all sorts of things. We love these. Um, the four bottles might be more than we need, but it was on sale. Then I got four things of Worcestershire sauce. This is, I'm going to start using this more to marinate meat in. And then I did get five Hidden Valley Ranch seasonings. Costco debuted these big containers that are way bigger than Sam's Club and they're only like six bucks. And so I bought five, not because I would go through that many in three months. I love to use this to season like roasted vegetables and put it in my meatloaf. And I pretty much put it in everything, but I also make my own ranch. Um, but this is the cheapest I've ever seen and in the biggest container. So I was kind of thinking that Costco might raise the price. And if so, I wanted to be stocked up and get the good deal. Back there, you can see um, the Coffee Mate Creamer. Uh, that's what Braxton uses. It's in his, oh my, I'm just stumbling over my words today. That is what he likes to use in his coffee. I got two of those. I did get one thing of old fashioned oats, um, just so we can start making granola and oatmeal and everything like that. I did get one bag of bacon crumbles. I have another one upstairs in my other storage closet. I was going to buy two of these, but then last night when I was organizing and looking at what I had on hand, I saw that I had one of these, so I only bought one. I did get a thing of Annie's uh, fruit snacks. <laughs> That's the word. Um, these McCafe canisters, I already had those down here. Um, that's the kind of coffee that we used to drink. We don't drink it really anymore. And so yeah, it's there kind of for emergencies or camping or whatnot. I did get 12 boxes of the shells and cheese. Um, my kids love this better than the name brand kind. They think it is cheesier. So it's also cheaper. I got four boxes of Pop-Tarts. We don't do these very often, but like on a Sunday morning if we're running late or something, I got two strawberry, two brown sugar cinnamon. And then in the back, I got two of these Carnation Breakfast Essentials. Um, we do this for chocolate milk. I got two of those. And yeah, I think I talked about everything. Let me flip around. So that is the base of my emergency food storage and this will change with time um this is just kind of like a starter pack um i may realize that some things i don't want to keep in emergency food storage there's some things that i probably want to add start adding to um i have another one of these shelves in like my overflow room by my kitchen and i'm debating bringing it down here 
I'm putting it next to here for extra things like to put food safe buckets in and stuff like that. Um, but like right now the shelf has no room for the beans or the peanut butter, um, that I'm going to pick up. So there is that. And then, um, also like there's some things like Braxton loves the Taco Bell hot sauce that you can get at Walmart. And that's probably something that I'm going to want to keep stocked up. Um, I love to keep the um, Tostitos Salsa Con Queso on hand. I have some of that upstairs. So I have like no room on this shelf for that. So there's like other things that I am going to eventually add into this. But this is a really, really, really good start. And we will see where my emergency food storage is in like three to six months and I'll probably do an update on how it is working. Um, if there is things that I wish that I would have changed, um, and that sort of thing. So I actually came in under budget. Um, I wanted to give myself $650 to get this started up. And I actually spent 565. I spent 175 at Aldi, and then I spent 390 at Costco on the food. But then I spent $100 on household stuff. So like 65 of that was on um, diapers. And then I bought kitty litter, and I bought a robe, and I bought some baby soap. Um, so not necessarily. That's just off to the side, um, minus the diapers. So now I came under budget and then I have a like $44 pickup order from Walmart that I'm doing on Monday morning because usually we come home on Sunday night, but we are actually staying in town on Sunday night because um, we, our church was actually in a 100 year old building and it sadly just, it got really, really hard structurally to take care of. We kept having mold issues um, and several other things. And so we actually built a new building right next door to the old church. And we were going to keep the old church um, up as long as we could because it was like a historical thing. Uh, but the mold and the asbestos and all that stuff um, happened. And long story short, the church is getting torn down on Monday morning and um, Lucas like came to that church when he was a newborn. I was pregnant with him there. Chloe was one year old when we started going to church there. And so it's just um, Braxton and I came to that place. Very, very, very broken people. And it's not the building that changed us, but the building is very sentimental to us because we remember going down, I'm going to get emotional and start crying. Um, you know, we remember going down into the basement for, um, for marriage counseling, like every week when our marriage was just an absolute tatters. We were, I mean, my pastor has told us, he's like, I would go home and I would talk to my wife and she would be like, how did it go? And he's like, I don't know. It doesn't look good. I mean, we were on the brink of divorce. We could not figure it out. And then the Lord saved us and he repaired our marriage and all these kinds of things. And so it's just very sentimental to us. So the girls have been very adamant that they want to go. Braxton and I want to go. So we're going to stay in town. Um, and then we're going to go watch the church get demolished and we're going to cry and cry and cry and cry. And then we're going to go pick up this grocery order <laughs> and then come home and put it away. And so it is going to be some dry beans and some peanut butter that I'm going to add into here. And yeah, so all in all, I'm really, really thrilled. I came in under budget um, and I left myself enough wiggle room to where I can have my $35 to $40 a week for milk, yogurt, eggs, bread, whatever I can fit into that 30, minimum $35 for a pickup order. Um, and so all I need to do now is I need to get some food safe buckets, which the tractor supply is actually right next door to the Walmart in which I have my pickup order on Monday. So I think I'm going to schedule a pickup order for some food safe buckets. 
And then Braxton talked about how he would like to get some Mylar bags and have a few things um, in Mylar bags for more longer term food storage. Maybe just like some rice and some oats and like things like that. Uh, we'll figure that out. Um, but for right now, here it is and all its glory. I'm thrilled to have it set up. I'm thrilled to have it all done <laughs> and shopped for. I could have very easily just slowly built this up over probably several months, but I like when I start a project, I like to just get it done and finish it because otherwise I won't. So <laughs> it's just, it just is what it is. So I went, I took my baby and it probably took me two and a half hours to do all the shopping. And so it was the most exhausting part of it was loading it into the big van. And then Luke, Caleb and I, we had Chick-fil-A together in the van and, and we just, we had a good, we had a good little day together. So thank you guys for watching this. I will keep you updated as this goes on um, and kind of keep you updated on how I use this to meal plan and keep tuned for pantry cooking and all those kinds of things. I'm going to try to not get into this this month and cook down what I have upstairs and then we'll start eating from this next month um, and meal planning from this and rotating it out and everything like that. So I hope you guys have a great day and I mentioned earlier but if you're not following me on Instagram make sure to follow me over on there. Um, I tend to post more in my everyday life pictures and yeah also if you haven't subscribed, consider doing that. And uh, yeah, have a good day, guys.